What's good, YouTube? My name is Cody. Got a great video planned for today. I'm going to teach you how to beat man coverage. I'm going to teach you how to beat press man, shade underneath man, cover one, cover two. I'm also going to teach you how to beat in this video inside quarters. I'm going to teach you how to beat um, cover three, cover two. Really good play here in a concept that I really have fallen in love with out of the play PA shot wheel. In the trip side information, it's going to feature this wheel route and this S post are the two primary routes on this play that we're going to break down today. And like I said, I wanted to teach you how to beat um, a couple different coverages. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to learn my entire Trips Tied In ebook, it is linked in the description. You can sign up for my Patreon. By signing up for that, you get access to all of our Madden guides. Literally every single ebook all year is available by joining our membership. It's only $10. There's a link in the description below, which you can sign up for if you would like to. But let's jump in. I'm super excited to share this video with you and talk with you about how to beat uh, how to beat some of the best coverages in the game starting with the first coverage we're going to take a look at is the cover three and the play is pa shot wheel out of the new england patriots offensive playbook you could also rhyme this um you can find this concept in the detroit playbooks what i personally like to use right now but um same same exact uh, route combination and same exact setup Okay, guys, so first things first, I wanted to teach you how to beat the double Mabel meta. If your opponent is running a lot of Mabel coverage, this is a really, really good play for that. Um, and, and we're going to show you how to beat um, how to beat cover three, okay? How to, be, how to make this a cover three beater. If you don't have Titan Apprentice, I'm going to have an alternate setup for you. But um, by now, most people have Hot Rod Master or Titan Apprentice. If you don't have that, I'm going to give you an alternate setup. So our setup, our first setup is this. We're going to smart route the S post on the outside. One of the best routes that nobody uses this year. We're going to slant the outside slot. We're going to corner route the tight end. If you don't have tight end apprentice, put him on a smart route it out. Okay, so there you go. Real simple setup. And why this is so good, we're going to motion um, the triangle receiver. We're actually going to motion him to the left. And what you'll see is we're going to let him go ahead and get over here and get set. I have found that this makes this much more consistent against man-to-man -man if I let him set his feet as opposed to trying to snap in motion this year because of the locomotion. And what you're going to see here is once this S pose kind of crosses the face of the safety right about here, you're going to pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, it's a really consistent cover three beater over the middle of the field. The other thing that I really like about this play and the other thing that I really like about this concept is it's already kind of designed to beat man to man which we'll come back to but the other thing that i really like about this is you don't have to really do anything necessarily that crazy to be able to beat cover two or cover three we don't have to have a streak on the left we don't have to do any of that stuff we're just going to play simple football you're going to see this corner is going to hold the third and then this guy's going to cross the face of the safety you want to aggressive catch that cut it off and i'm telling you it's one of the most consistent cover three beaters in this game now this is also going to beat the cover two and cover two is one of the best one of the most um utilized defenses especially for pressure the other thing i want to quickly say about pressure is this running back is going to pick up pretty much all pressure in the game as long as you id the the side of the user corner so if the user is in the left side id the left corner if the user is on the right side you id the right side corner something we talk about a little bit more in detail in our ebook um which again if you want to check that out that's down below but anyway smart route square we're going to motion triangle to the left and let him set his feet and then i have my tight end on a corner route now why is this so good against cover two well because of the corner route to the tight end you're going to see this deep half is going to get pulled out of the middle of the field now i am getting randomly matched by a vert hook but as you can see i can still get this over the top and consistently beat cover two for a one play score now most people that run cover two one other thing i want to say real quick about cover two most people that run cover two they run a version of it where their hook curls are going to be on five yard zone drop so you won't have to worry too much about matching and I'll show you this again. Now, real quick, if you want to snap triangle right here, you can. You can snap him in motion. He's still going to serve his purpose. Notice the wheel in the corner split the safeties perfectly over the top. Now, this helps me transition to my next piece on this play. And that is what I love about this in terms of how does it cover or how does it uh, do against the cover three Mabel meta. Most people... When they run this cover three meta they're going to go ahead and they're going to deep half the right side guys very common 
that they deep have that right side guy. And this is one of the other reasons why I really like this because what you'll see is this deep half is gonna get pulled out to the right. And now once my pose comes over the middle, I can kind of split these safeties. And if they don't have like a KO ability, a lot of times I can catch that even against that coverage. Now the last piece of this is how does this fare against man to man? Well, Ma, I'm really glad that you asked me that question. A lot of people right now are basically spamming this cover one robber and they're gonna shave their coverage underneath to basically make it a little bit better. And what you're gonna notice with this is we're gonna have two reads on the play. If there's somebody in the middle of the field against man to man, then we're going to take advantage of either our corner route, our slant, those are some quick reads we have. If those aren't there though, this wheel route against shaded underneath man to man, and it has to be shaded underneath, shaded outside and underneath, shaded underneath, or cover two man, which is already a shaded underneath principle, this does a really, 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 really good job at beating that coverage over the top for a one play score. So now you might say, well, okay, what are they gonna do? What are the, what, well, guess what they're gonna have to do? They're gonna have to take the safety and put a deep half over here. It's one of the only routes in the game that's gonna force a deep half this year. So now this is where we get, um, this is where it gets really interesting. Because they have to deep half, now there's not gonna be anybody in the middle of the field for the S post route. And if you have a good receiver over there, a lot of times this S post will get kind of separation and you can see it'll be able to get off the jam and, 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 and out and out and ready. Now, one of the most popular things that people are doing right now against trips tied in, I want to show you, they are putting these two inside quarters right in these positions and they're basically relying on the inside quarters to do a really good job in man to man. Well, what you'll notice is because we're motioning over a slant, that's one of the other real critical pieces to the setup, because we're motioning this guy over on a slant route, the coverage will significantly change. And what you'll see is your post will still get matched by the outside quarter, but it's nowhere near as effective as it was in a three by one versus a two by two set. Another thing that I wanna point out about this man to man coverage, again, they're gonna shade outside, shade underneath, inside quarter inside quarter very popular adjustment but what i want you to notice is if they leave this adjustment on the field a lot of times what's going to happen is your route to godwin will basically burn them over the top so as you can see there i had my post and i had my wheel wide open and then also you still are able to you know work your corner route and your slant combo underneath if you want to put your running back on some kind of man beating route you can certainly do that as well now, the last piece of this is, let's talk about, we, we talked about a deep half. So what they're gonna have to do for a man coverage is you're gonna have to get a deep half here. You're gonna have to have an inside third right here. And now what this does is it takes away their ability to be able to put a purple zone on the right side. And so now your tight end can really hurt them um, on this little tight end corner you see right here. Even Rob Gronkowski is able to get separation. So we showed how to beat cover three, we showed how to beat cover two, we showed how to beat cover three cloud or cover, cover two, cover three hybrid coverage. And then with cover four, I wanted to cover one quick tip with this. If they are in a cover four drop defense, one of the things you wanna understand about your uh, route to Evans, what I think is really important to understand about this S route is it is a multi-window route. We can throw it at different points on the field. So when he goes to cut in between and split the safeties, it's a really small split but a lot of times that split is very effective at getting separation against a true traditional cover four drop. Why? Because the wheel route serves as a pull route. It will actually pull a lot of zones vertically and give us a little bit of space underneath. So you'll see right here again, just splitting these safeties. And as long as I aggressive catch, it's really, really important to cut the route off. You have to user catch this route. It is 100% a user catch route. Now an adjustment that you might see would be something like this. If they do this, I have a couple of things, but I do wanna show you how the S post is gonna fare if they bring their safeties down in the box. What you're gonna notice is it's still gonna take time to develop and there's still a small window in which you can cut that route off and be very effective. Now, the last piece of the puzzle is the ultimate, what I call the ultimate check down route in this. This wheel route oftentimes will pull underneath zones. What that does is it allows this motion slant a lot of a potential here. You'll see these quarters will oftentimes convert. Um, and I'll show you that time the quarter flat didn't convert, 
but I'll show you like a like a cover three for example so let's say they put those quarter flats into curl flats which is a very common adjustment most people like curl flats this year is the number one underneath zone coverage what you'll see with this is the curl flat late will go uh, kind of dumb out and you'll be able to hit your slant over the middle of the field if you want to drag him that's another thing that you can do within this formation one more thing i want to show you about this is a traditional cover four or cover three curl flat zone a lot of times we'll match this wheel late you see there see how he kind of matches it then you can kind of playmaker this guy upfield and you can try to hit it that way so there's a lot you could do with this play in general and it's very effective against pretty much anything that the defense is going to do including match coverage by the way we haven't even touched on why this is so good against match one of the many reasons why it is one of the better match plays in the game is because this corner route again and because of this wheel you're going to get this little switch off and a lot of times this post that time the quarter did a decent job but you could still kind of jockey for position and break up the play this is one of my favorite plays in the entire game right now because it does such a good job of consistently being able to beat man consistently being able to beat zone coverage and being able to bomb the two most popular coverages in the game the cover three and the cover two Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn more about Trip Side In, you want to get my entire ebook on it, you can get everything by joining my Patreon membership for just $10. There's a link in the description. So if you want to join it, just head on down to the description of this video and click the link that I put down there for the Patreon.